Today on Animal Fact Files, we're discussing aardvarks. With the ears of a donkey, the tail of a rat, and the stature of a domestic pig, one may be surprised to learn that aardvarks are more closely related to sea cows than warthogs. Aardvarks are the only living members of their order, and descend from an ancient lineage of hooved animals. One look at their feet, and this becomes apparent. Aardvarks are burrowing mammals. They use their strong front feet to dig out dens which they utilize for rest and escaping predators. They're shy and nocturnal. They're rarely seen by humans. Many people don't even know they exist. Some may be familiar with the name because of Arthur. Though Arthur the Aardvark's modern depiction leaves one wondering if he's meant to be a bear, his original design looked more aardvarky. It may still be surprising to learn just how big aardvarks are, though. If you had asked me before this episode, I would have guessed an aardvark was about the size of an armadillo. But that's too small. On average, aardvarks stand about 2 feet tall at the shoulders and weigh anywhere from 90 to 180 pounds. If you kneeled down next to an aardvark, you would be approximately eye level with it. They're bigger than most dogs and larger by weight than many humans. While aardvarks have a similar face to the iconic anteater, these animals aren't closely related. In fact, aardvarks are more closely related to elephants and hyraxes than an anteater. The similarities between these two ant-eating animals is an example of convergent evolution, where two unrelated animals display similar traits. In this case, a long nose and an even longer tongue for lapping up insects. Aardvarks specialize in ants and termites. But they also eat scarab beetle grubs, grasshoppers, and melon-like fruits of the cucumber family that grow underground. These are aptly named the aardvark cucumber, and are dependent on aardvarks to eat them in order to spread their seeds. Aardvarks live throughout most of sub-Saharan Africa. They can be found in most habitats, but generally avoid the dense, rocky soil of mountainous regions, and the moist soil of rainforests. They like soft, easy-to-dig soil they can sink their feet into. Aardvarks have furry noses that can close while they dig to keep the dirt out. Their large ears, which may be used for thermoregulation like in elephants, can turn back and seal out dirt as well. Aardvarks reach reproductive maturity around two years of age. Males don't stick around after mating, and a female gestates about seven months before giving birth to a single baby. The baby spends its first two weeks in its birth den, but then begins to venture out with mom. Females, who are smaller than males, may also have a brighter tail than males. This may help their baby follow them above ground. The baby begins to eat insects at three months of age, and digs its own burrows at six months. Males part ways with their mothers after their first year, but females may remain another year while their mother raises another baby. Outside of mating and raising their young, aardvarks are considered solitary. They spend their days resting in a burrow. An aardvark's burrow may extend just a few feet up to 20 feet underground. At night, they forage. They'll keep the same burrow for a few days to weeks before setting off to find a new place to live. These abandoned burrows provide homes for other animals, such as warthogs and jackals, and even some aardvark predators like hyenas. Other predators to aardvarks include lions and leopards, as well as humans. If they can avoid these predators, they may live to be nearly 20 years old in the wild. For more facts on aardvarks, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. Thank you to our patrons, SpikeSpeagle93, Dad, and everyone else for their support of this channel. Thank you to these viewers for today's request, and thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.